Hear the story of my life Heartaches of pain Weeping at night Then laughing at the Hello, welcome to the Jessica Kanyaja Show. We bring you real life stories of people who have weathered the storms of life and want us to learn from their failures and their triumphs. And today's topic, the transition from a mistress to a first wife. Is it possible? Does it happen? Is it in our dreams or is it real? My guest today, is a beautiful young lady who says she would never go back. She went from the trauma of being that hidden wife, the one that never goes to the ceremonies, the one who never has her husband's husband go to the children's schools, the one who stays in the background while the husband and his wife and his first wife shine. Today, she is triumphant. She is a victor. She's here to tell us her story. Does this really happen? Mrs. Sylvia Owino, you are welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Thank Mrs. you, Sil Wow, Mrs. Sylvia, is a uh, Mrs. Sylvia Owino is 32. At the age of 22, she was exposed um, to um, an elderly man who preyed on her. Uh, I, won't say, I won't say molested because this was, a, you know, you were both adults. It was two-way. It was a, a consenting adult re relationship. But uh, we are talking about emotional. I, 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 I believe he preyed on you emotionally. And you're here to tell us your story. Um, I would like to say that this is not my story. This is her story. So I will let her talk and we are here to listen. Sylvia, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for allowing to share your story with us and thank you for allowing us to learn from it. I know it can't be easy. I'm honored. How did you get into such an arrangement the previous? Wow, I'm so glad to be on this show. Mm -hmm. As mommy told you, I'm Sylvia. <clears throat> um, while I was growing up like any other normal child who was six, um, I don't remember seeing my mom grow with us because of some domestic things that happened that I would not really know so well. Because you were a child. Yes. So, so you come from a dysfunctional family yes, already. Yes. Yes. And so as I grew up, uh, I learned to know Christ at around 19 years. And my dad, or the background that we grew in, was Catholic. Yes. So I met people that preached to us. and. Thank God I accepted Christ at that age. Praise God. So after that, I joined um, the church that molded me to, uh, to become a good Christian. Yes. But I think daddy didn't like it. So Your dad? Yes, yes. my dad didn't like it. Um, he's still living and I know he will watch this show as well. Yes. <laughs> mm. So, um, but he's your dad. He, edu he dad. educated you, yes. and for that we are grateful. He gave me all basic needs. Yes, he gave you the basic needs. Yes. And you know, I can see you are you are an <laughs> eloquent woman. You are very good orator, and you know you you are obviously a stepper. So, you know, kongs to your dad. Yes, I'm so mm. grateful, Daddy. I send I send my greetings to you, and so I'm, I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Um, so. Uh, he didn't like us being born again, so I, I found myself Which out, is understandable. out really. of the you house. Know, you, you can't blame him because yes. yeah, it's, it was a different faith altogether. Yes, so mm. I, was, I found myself out of the house okay. and I joined beautiful people that I would call my you guardians. Were, you were adopted by yes. a Christian family. Yes. Yes. We were a Christian family, born again, the wife was so good. Yes. And the man as well. At Though that it time, turned yes. something else later. Mm. So we, I stayed with them. I, I remember I'd come with my sister, so they welcomed us. They gave us the best. Mm. They took us back to school because school had stopped. And they brought us clothes. We were their own children. Yes. 
So during that time, it's when the story turned the page. Okay. Mm. You were brought into the house as young children, mm. seeking refuge, seeking shelter. Mm. A wonderful woman. Yes. Who you start you call decided to call your mother. Yes. And uh, a man who should have been your father. Yes. A Christian, you know, a seemingly Christian family. Yes. Mm. And uh, you said the tables began to turn. Mm. Okay. That it's your story. I wasn't there. I don't yes. know anything. Okay. So it, it began to be a, a relationship between me and the man that I'd call my that guardian. You, that you'd call your father. Yes, I would call my father because that is the one that I was seeing at that time. He was paying your fees. He was. Taking you back to school. Yes. Uh, giving you the food you needed. Yes. And uh, he, what did he say? I mean, you know that he was a married man. What did he say? How did he propose to you? What, 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 what was his, how did he lay down his? Um, I remember when it all began, he told me, you're a beautiful girl. You're a young girl. Um, I want you to become my wife. And I told him, but you're married. You have a wife, a mom. Why would you do that? He told me, no, you know, I would want you. You look uh, an, uh, uh, an innocent girl. So f having a lot of dreams. And I think I can live in your life and we achieve those dreams. I told him, no, I will not love a married man. And I'm young, you're a bit old. I call you my, my dad. So it didn't seem to work out for him. He told me, me and my wife have issues that I wouldn't want you to know. But just know, I've chosen you. I'll give you all this world. Name it, you'll have it. By then I was desperate. I had, I had a dream that I was following, but it seemed it was you had shattering no, you, down. You know, the, the person the, that preposition was your, 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 your source of everything, actually, yes. financially. Yes. He had put uh, a, a roof over your head. Mm. He was feeding you. Mm. He had taken you back to school. And you, in a way, he was your entire life. Mm. Yes, so you, you, you were between a rock and a hard place, yes. really. I didn't think I would turn back. You did I, not want to go back to being no, homeless? No, 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 no. Okay, all right. So I saw him as the future, the at, hope. Uh, at what age were you then? I think I was 22. Okay. I was young, that is what I would say. You were younger than my last born. <laughs> yeah, so... I was mm. young. So when he said all this, I really didn't take it serious. Because mm. I was like, no, it cannot be possible. And I grew up because of the domestic violence at home. I actually didn't want to get married. Okay. Because I saw what my dad and my mom had gone through in the past, mm. and I hated men. So, and most especially when you talk about marriage, mm. uh -uh, I would mm. like, no, that's not me. Mm. So, I really tried to run from mm. what you are telling me. Well, now, this was, wasn't the wife suspicious that something was going on? No, by then, when it had just begun, she didn't suspect anything. Okay. Because what, what I was a friend. Well, she took us in. She really loved us because mm. we were two, me and my elder sister. Mm. So there's no way she could even suspect because even that man would call us his daughters. Yes. In the house and we were sent like any other child can be sent. So mm. there's no way she could even think of it. Mm. I think mm. she looked at our innocence mm. and what we had gone through. She was like, no. Mm. She, didn't, she didn't suspect it. But no. later, as the relationship grew, mm she began to suspect. Mm. So, so you eventually gave in, you eventually said yes. I did, after like five years. You said yes. Yes, I said Had yes. Had you any idea it would culminate into you getting pregnant and having three children with him and actually, you know, or where you were just saying yes so that you could continue having a roof over your head and, and food? Wow, thank you for that question. Because when he gave me all this life, taking me back to school, loving me back, Mm. and my sister. You felt you needed to reward uh, him? Yes. In I kind. Like, how can I reward this man? Mm. He has been like an angel. Mm. So I said, let me give in. But mm. I didn't know it would cultivate into getting pregnant and having all this that I'll talk about in the, in the next minutes. Mm. So I gave in to pay back. 
Mm. As like you've been was good. he demanding a reward? Did he at any one time say, look, this is what I'm doing for you. I'm taking you back to school. You know, I'm paying your school fees. I've put a shelter over your head. Was he demanding it or you just felt that you owed him? He was not demanding it, but he mm. would usually say, I would not want to <laughs> rare a cock that I'll not eat eggs from. <laughs> I don't know. There is a saying. Okay, like that's very sad. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's sad. You know. So yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, he kept saying it, but because I was not so fluent in Luganda, I would mm. not understand mm. what he would say. Mm. So I wanted to pay back. Mm. Mm. So I remember it was one night, and then we had it. Mm. It was my first man in my life. I'd never mm. slept with any other man. Mm. So it went on and on until I got pregnant. Mm. When I got pregnant. Definitely had to run. He had to escape me to a, a place far from the city. I mean, when you told him you were pregnant, what did he say? He he was joyed up. He was overjoyed. Yes, mm. he loved it. Mm. So so you could see now that you were heading to be a you know yes a, a he mistress. Told, yeah. He told me you're going to be my wife. Okay, that is not exactly. Of the course, wife, that's really. not the wife. Mm. Mm. He told me you're going to be my own. Mm. and I'll give you everything. You will never lack, mm. never lack. Mm. So, and you were in, you had been through a period of want mm -hmm. and lack. Yes. So this looked like a, you know, a safe haven. Yes. So okay. even And if, you hadn't really seen, you had not admired the, the white wedding thing and because oh. of what you had seen your parents. Yes. Yeah. So you thought, okay, this is an arrangement. Mm. I can, you know, I can have everything I want and then mm. I will have children for this man. Okay. That's true. When I got to know that I was pregnant, all I, this time, the wife hasn't suspected a thing. She suspected, and actually, she arranged that we were moved out. Okay. We were moved out of that house yes. to a certain other place. So when I told him I was pregnant, he jumped up and down. But in my heart, I died. Actually, I remember that is the day I died. Mm. Sylvia got lost. Mm. I died, but he was happy. He spent lots of money because it was a new home starting. Everything was set up in one day, like furnishing the whole house with everything in it. He told me, life has now started, so I don't want to see you anywhere near the house you used to live. I don't want to see, in other words, I don't want to see you anywhere near my wife. Yes, so change your friends, change the cell phone, change the lines, change everything about you, even your parents. Your relative shouldn't know you're in what? this condition. He even separated you from. Yes. Yeah, because he was now, you know, a well-known figure in yes. the community. Yes. You know, a minister. Yes. So, you know, he, you had to be hidden. Uh, he, th that side of his life had to be hidden. Mm -hmm. mm. So I lived in that state. I gave birth to my first child out of. I, I, no one knew, not even my parents knew. So I got the second born immediately. Mm. I raised that, that, the two kids, but during that time, I, I think I just decided to close my dreams. I so I now, here myself, you are in a house, mm, alone. Mm, your parents don't know where you are. Mm, your siblings have no idea where you are. You don't have a social life. No. You are just having children yes. for this man. Yes. And he's continuing to go in public, you know, with his wife. And, you know, you are that person that doesn't exist. Exactly. Okay, that must have been... And it, to you, it wasn't painful. It was, you know, you were okay having the bread and the meat in the house <laughs> and the TV and, you know. I wouldn't say I was okay, but mm. I saw myself die. I was this outstanding girl, loving to worship, being in church, being around with friends. I remember before to take you back during that time of relationship, so many suitors came up because at the age of 20 to 23, you're looking really good. Yes, yes. So, yes. so many suitors would come up and you'd tell them, no, that one already is taken. He has someone else. I didn't know he was positioning himself there. So uh, going back when I was in that house, I would cry every day. But you had the first baby. I had the first baby, yes. And then you went on to have the second. The second baby. So, you know, I, um, in, in between this crying, and did you sit back to think, okay, I've had this baby, mm -hmm. but I don't have to stay at this. Do, do you, uh, you, okay, now let's first go to, I had forgotten to ask this. Mm -hmm. How often would he see you? At what time would he see you? Because this was a man who was maintaining impression somewhere else. So mm -hmm. at, when would he see you? Um, I, 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 would, I would count the nights we would spend home, 
would only come during day and certain days. If it would come at around 11, then by 1 he has to be away. So it would come at 11 in the morning? No, 11, yes, 11 a.m. And in then the by morning, 1 p.m. And 1 p.m. he's left? He has left. So that was the relationship? Yes. So it mm. was short-lived. He comes and then he pampers you and then he, he speaks all the promises in this world. Okay, what did he promise you? I would like to know what he promised you that kept, went you, took you from the first kid to the second kid to the third kid in the solitary state, hidden away. Mm. He would always tell me, I'll marry you. Okay. I'll get rid of my first wife. I'm going to marry you. I'm going to give you everything even that which I've never given my first wife. I'm going to bring you land titles. He started buying me cars. He took me and I learned to drive. So he gave me all the cars. I remember he would change cars. I, 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 I don't think, I, I, I don't know why he would always think it's what took my heart. But inside, I was different. I didn't want the cars. I didn't want the, the good food, the good house. I wanted a man. You wanted a companion. The company of a man. And mm. I remember I would tell him, but you give me little time. And here I have two children. The children grew and they would ask me, Mommy, where is Daddy? And I would always tell them, Daddy has gone to work. So whenever you'd come, you're torn in between your time and the kids. Yeah, yeah. So the kids still want, you also still want. So mm. you're all left wanting. Mm. So he kept telling me things are going to be better each year. I'm going to go and introduce you to your parents. You introduce me to your parents and we do a wedding. So how was that going to be achieved? Because this is a, 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 a Christian, you know, person and, uh, you know, may, you know, uh, um, um, how, how was, and he has had a marriage in church, mm. a white wedding. How was he, what did he tell you? How did he tell you he was going to achieve that? He would tell and me. And the public person that he is. Yes, he would tell me, you'll speak to your parents. We meet in a hotel. I pay the diary that they've asked for. Then we arrange like a civil wedding. I don't want it public. Cause okay, so how was that going to be achieved? I mean, um, what status was he, what, what was he trying to do? Obviously, I think he knew you were a kid, so he was telling you all the lies. Yes. Yes. I thought he thought I, every girl needs a wedding. Okay, and did you believe him when he was saying he would marry you as At well? At times I would believe. And have an official wedding with you yes, as well. Yes, because you know, he show me at home, things are terrible. Things are not working out. Anytime they are divorcing with a wife. Anytime the wife is leaving. So I was left in the state of, anytime, please be ready. Anytime, please be ready. Anytime, and anytime please time ready. became one year, became two years, became yes. three years. Became how many years? It came to nine years because I still had a third born. Wow. So for nine years, you were packed and ready to... To, yes. to, to replace the official wife. Yes, because mm. that's what he would always tell me. Mm. He would always figure out that, to, to me, that the wife is not good. The wife is lacking in so many things. And mm. I am But better. you had lived with this. Lady. I had lived with she her. She had welcomed you as a daughter. So mm. did you see her lacking in anything? Did you, did you at any one point feel that you were better than her? I would not because mm. uh, I grew seeing this lady. Mm. And actually, I always admired her. Mm. So I would sit down. She and was say, your role model. Yes, I would and sit down here and was say, a man telling you she was hopeless. Mm. There is mm. no day I've ever called. I'd even ever called her. Maybe say your first wife. I always called her mom, and mm. I would tell her, "But you have mom. It's like leave alone your mom alone. She's and in her life. Let's start our own life alone. Let's start our future with you. We will age up together. We will raise our children together. And you're not going to get any mar like get married to any other man." you're mine. We are meant to be together. So he later evolved my family. Uh, my siblings hated it. Actually, during that time of having children, they would not come home. Because remember, I was secured in my own prison cell. Mm. No friends, no family. Because, because he didn't want his wife to find out. No. Mm. So life was really... What, did he ever tell you anything about his wife? That I don't want her to find out or... Yes, he, he always said that, like, stay away from my family, stay away from my wife, but anything. Ha, but have my children. Of course. Mm, mm. These, these children are me, mine and yours. The other life, the other lady and the other child, don't think about them. 
let's build our own castle in our own island. Mm. So that's what he always told me. He always showed me that we can only be together. And the, and the promises, the, the land titles, the, did you ever see any, any, any of those promises fulfilled? I didn't, I didn't see any land titles. Mm. Even if he would buy me cars, they would always stay in his names. <laughs> so there was nothing mm. like permanent I owned. Mm. So I remember I tried to complain. I think I was growing a bit mature. Mm. So I would tell him, but we are renting. And I'm giving more birth to more children. At least set up something permanent mm. that I can raise my children in it. And they'll tell me to well, come. I'm going to build you this storage house. Yeah. But it never came That's to the pass. one the wife was living in. Mm. Yes, they had a permanent mm. home yeah, where, so, where we yeah. used to stay. Mm. So he but said he'll build you one just yes, like that. Yes. Mm. So that you could stay there and you become so happy. You're going to become the most happiest woman in this world. But I did see that happiness, really. Would he come on a daily basis? No. No. Once in a while, and he comes in the day at 11 to 1? Yes, sometimes he would come so early to see the children go off to school, then immediately leave because of his other duties. Mm. 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 Okay. Did you ever have an outing with the children? Did you ever go out with him? Um, yes, we used to go out. But if you'd go out, specifically in a hotel, you enter your rooms and you of course you you have room service and that is all it would have you to... don't get out of the of the hotel so how was that an out thing because you might as well stay at home and eat <laughs> would tell the me, hotel room is like a house i think he, uh, sometimes he would find me so packed with thoughts and mm. tells me let's get out of this place mm. let me take you somewhere in a hotel you have a good meal uh you sleep in a different environment then mm. like after night you come back home mm. Mm. Wow, so that was your outing. Yes. And uh, did you meet, get to meet his relatives? Did you get to meet his family? Um, later in the years, the relatives came up to see their children. Um, that was after how many years? After six years. Mm. Yes, they would come, uh, pay a visit and definitely run away. Because they would tell me, we don't want your mom to know we came to have anything to do with yes. that we have anything to do with 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 our brother's yes. girlfriend yes mm. so the, they would also show me we are not sure of your relationship mm. but of course they would tell me we are happy thanks for giving birth to these children mm. 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 that's all that's all mm. 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 Wow. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying this program so far. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Pastor Jessica's YouTube channel. Oh, and don't forget to press the notification button so that you're notified whenever we upload a video. Also, you can follow Pastor Jessica on all of her social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under the handle of Pastor Jessica Kayanja. If you would like to contact Pastor Jessica Kayanja, please do so on 077 263 1603. And if you'd like to advertise with us, please don't hesitate to let us know. Okay, now let's get back to the show. Uh, were you in love with this man? Were you at any one point? Did you feel that you had taken to him and you, you had? You know, began to apart from wanting to pay him back what he had done. Mm. Did you any, any have any other emotional um, attachment to him? Did you do you did you feel that you were in love with him, or do you just feel totally manipulated? Um, when the relationship I just began, it was of course something that I, I felt I needed to pay back mm. because of the goodness that he had done to me. Mm. But as the relationship grew with children, mm. the attachment came. Mm. You know, you start feeling attached to him because mm. of what both of you have. Because mm. three children is a big number. I know. It's as and big as mine. <laughs> <laughs> and the years that we had spent, mm. that the love that I felt was because I had children with him. Mm. And I wouldn't want my children to grow without a father. I know. Mm. So I wouldn't feel that deep love that you would have for a husband because... I always, he has never posed in my mind as my own husband. Now, what do you mean? 
I I I'll always think I stole. Like you find a plot, a mm. piece of land written, this plot is not for sale. So you go uproot that signpost and you decide to take the land by force. I always told myself it's what I did and mm. the guilt would always kill me inside. My conscience was killed. And since I was a, a Christian and this girl. Was, you had, you know, you had betrayed somebody who yes. had parented you. Yes. So every Someone time would, you. Mm, every time would come home, I would feel, no, he's in the wrong position. He's in the wrong place. I would mm. tell him, please go back to mom. Mm. Please go back to mom. And he would tell me, why do you always mind about her? I'm like, because I know you're not mine. And mm. sometimes we would end up quarreling because he doesn't like that statement. Like, mm. why do you always chase me away? Why do you always disown me? And I would tell him, you're not mine. Mm. I just got you from someone and I need to take back what's not mine. Mm. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. Now, um, you, because you were with him, was there anything about him that you particularly liked, apart from the fact that he gave you everything? Was there something? Uh, because we don't want to, to, we need to have a balanced you mm. know, argument here. We don't want to say it was, it was complete hell. You were so, you know, was there anything about this man that, you know, you felt was a good attribute? Yes, um, one thing that I would say, he was a caring father. He gave me and the kids the best of life. Food was always home, security, hospital bills taken care of. So there was no day we lacked home. No, mm -hmm. there, was no day, there was no such a day in my life, the years that I was with him. Do you feel that he was giving his family the same treatment or did you, do you feel that he stole from what the family should have enjoyed? Definitely. If, it was, if the man had remained with his wife, all sources would be to his family and his wife. Mm. But now we are to divide. Well, there's some men who can afford to... to, to, to. No, it cannot still be equal. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. So you, were you the, 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 the greater beneficiary? I don't know really. But mm. me, I always saw what was brought to my side. Mm. But of course, whenever it would come to his wife, he would tell you, my wife and my family comes first. Oh, that's what he would say? Yes. He wow. would always tell me, speak about anything, don't talk about my wife. Wow. Don't talk about your mom. Wow. Leave her in her own world. Mm. I know how I handle her life and her family. Mm. So you build your own. Mm. and how your lifestyle, the way you want you to live. Wow, mm. wow, wow. Mm. Okay, um, what, what, what led to the, apart from you were lonely, mm. he came in once in a while, the dreams never became a reality. Mm. At what point do you say enough is enough? Wow, I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, 2018, 2017 is when uh, 77 days began. I remember it was September. I started watching. And this man of God would always talk about broken marriages, divorce, uh, adultery, fornication. And it's what I was going through. And to make it worse, Whenever mommy, Pastor Jessica would come on the show, the girl power clinic. clinic that ended up the 77 days, then you would start talking about second wives and make, make us feel <laughs> that we are the worst people. <laughs> We are I, I, actually, actually it was I think more of a prayer about it was prayer eager and you know yes. but you would sit in your sitting room and want to switch off <laughs> that TV set <laughs> yeah mm. I went through That's hurdles powerful. I yeah. went through trying to dodge my reality mm, I didn't I want to face the truth that I was a second wife because mm. everything seemed good I got at a point and I settled. You were driving. I was driving. You, were, you had all the My kids were healthy. My they family. Were in the best school. My family. Yes, my family always told me, yes, you've made it. Oh, they finally yes. said you'd made it. Because whenever anything would come up, I would be the first one to stand and support. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they were like, okay. But whenever Pastor Jessica would start to talk about the huggers, mm -hmm. the second wife, those women that come in to break marriages, mm -hmm. 
That's how that would be my I'll prayer. I'll tell them mm. that me I'm different. Mm. Me this man just called me as young. I didn't interfere any. Mm. Yes, the wife is there, but I'm not calling her. I don't interfere with her. I don't go to her home. Mm. Then the Holy Spirit teaching began. Mm. The Holy Spirit began to convict me. Mm. You're doing wrong. Mm. That man is not yours. Mm. Take back the wife, the, the, husband, the, the man to his wife. Mm. 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 But I would always tell God, but why would you let me have all these children? Mm. And then now you're telling me to leave. Mm. So it was a, a trouble. It was mm. a war in my spirit. Mm. So as time went on, mm. the conviction became stronger. Mm. Until I told myself, it's time to gather up yourself and find your destiny as a woman. Mm. Leave that man and God will give you yours. So you started teaching us, usually mm. on shows of marriage now. Mm. I would admire couples mm. sitting together, hugging, oh, eating together. Our marriage seminars. Yes. Yeah. And I'll be like, you mean life can be so sweet like this? Because I don't remember ever moving out with this mm. man. Mm. holding hands even if it was in his car you always take the back seat oh he would tell you sit at the back yes no one should see you with me okay because since he was a public sort of a public figure mm. and married mm. yes and married and everyone knew he was married mm. so life beat started i started seeing the negative mm. now i forgot about the cars and everything i started seeing the negative part mm. i am not allowed anywhere i don't go to parties I don't celebrate my birthday kids' parties with anyone. Mm. They buy you all this big cake and you eat with only your kids. Mm. And this is a life I enjoyed. Mm. I would see my neighbors. Sometime, actually, some, someday my neighbor asked me, your man seems to love you so much, but he's never home. Mm. Are you a second wife? Ooh, that question pulled me down. Mm. I didn't want to answer. I told mm. her, no, why do you ask? I dodged it. Mm. So I started finding out who a second wife is mm. and who a first woman is. And you realize it's better to be it's a It's better one. to be a first lady. Mm. So God started speaking to me. I remember I, I re-accepted Christ during those shows of 77 wow. in 2019. Praise God. That, 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 is, that is actually powerful. That, that's a powerful testimony. Yes, I realized. It says it's, it's, it's a powerful transformation. Mm. So you packed your bags. Mm. Now let's, let's get to that point because mm. of time. Mm. You pack your bags. Mm. You know, how did you leave? Um, one thing I told myself was I was a sinner that needed mm. to accept Christ again. Mm. I needed to put back things right. Mm. There is no, I was going to go to the top mm. with just corners. Mm. So I packed my bags. Mm. I told God, give me the strength to live. Mm. So I left my children. That was 2019. You left your children in the house? Yes. In September, mm. I got out of the house, mommy, without anything. The way I was dressed is how I left with everything there. I would look, I turned, I looked at my children. I told God, there is no way I would call myself your disciple if I cannot deny these things. Mm. So I denied myself the, the love to the children and everything that was going on. And I said, God, I will follow you. Everything will come up after I've made mm. things right with you. Mm. So when I left, I, I remember I landed into my sister, my young sister's house. She told me what's happening. I told her I've left that marriage. Mm. So I started confessing to this man mm. and telling him, I am not your wife. Mm. I am not your wife. If Christ would come back now, I would miss heaven. And I wouldn't want to miss anything like heaven on this earth. So I told him, go back to your wife. I am tired of sin. I am going to move right with God. I am tired being a second wife. And I am tired always causing pain to your wife. I am tired of seeing her tears. So go mend things with, her, with your wife. I'll remain as the mother of these children, but not your wife. So I moved. He tried to follow me up, but I decided. You had made up your mind. Yes, I had made up my mind. I was a new Sylvia, actually. Mm -hmm. um, when That's I moved. Wonderful. That, 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 that is wonderful. Yes. And um, the, the good news is today mm. that you are, that God gave you a husband. Yes. 
God and gave a me. white wedding. <laughs> Not so far, mommy. Not so far. Wow. I remember I left 19 sept uh, September in March 2020. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I met my God-given husband. Your, your prince in shining armor. Oh my God. That Jap boy, he's a Japa dollar, but I call him my Jap boy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we met, mm. and he was, he looked at me, he saw a virgin. Wow. A, a woman of three children, and yes. he saw a virgin. He wow. saw a virgin. Wow. I told him, Do you know the lady God you're taking? He makes everything beautiful in his own he time. He made my ashes to beauty. Wow, wow, wow. My wow. shame to glory. Wow. Praise yes, God. Yes, he did so. That's wonderful. You know how it is when you, fall, when you obey the commandments of God and, and, and walk in his statutes mm. and do what is right in his sight? He said, I will not bring upon you the diseases that you yes. brought upon the Egyptians. Yes. That was an Egyptian disease. Indeed. What, what you, you oh, had before. It was. Now, at the moment you walk the ordinances of God, the moment you do what is right, in mm. his sight he blesses you he with did. something amazing something beautiful um, I'm going to ask Sylvia's husband to walk in right now and join us so that we can all see this Chapadola boy <laughs> who grabbed this <laughs> mother of three and treated her like a virgin wow <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> you are welcome Mr. Owino thank you mommy wow mm. wow 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 mm. This is your Jack boy. This is my Jack boy. How, tell me how you went through, how you told him this story, because, you know, even I hearing it, I'm, I'm, you know, I think, wow. Um, he told me, I want to marry you. I told him, I'm a mother of three. He told me, even if you have 10 children. Wow. You're the woman God has shown me, and you're my wife. Wow. You're my wow. Eva. God created only one Eva. Oh, so my goodness. I'm not seeing any other Eva apart from you. Wow. Yes, he was so good and so bold. I told him my whole story. Mommy, I did not hide anything. So he accepted me. Wow, 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 wow. And in July, I went to my parents. We visited. And um, in September 6th, we had a white wedding. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yes. Praise God. <laughs> and it was because of this white wedding that I actually got to know. Yes. Of your story. Mm. Wow, that's wonderful. <laughs> wow. I thank wow. God. Wow, that is wonderful. That's such a powerful story. Mm. I think um, um, maybe I should let the viewers know that you approached Gao Power mm. about your testimony and what God had done for you. Mm. And uh, we managed to arrange a meeting where you actually apologized yes. to um, um, uh, your mother the woman who had let you into her home mm. and uh, the woman who had, uh, you know, the woman who you, you had, you, you and her husband had actually battered emotionally for over nine years. Mm. And I'm glad that you started your journey. Yes. On that footing. Yes. Mr. Owino, can we hear from you? <laughs> Just something, say something. Well, uh, thank you very much, mommy. Uh, I'm so glad to be in this show. This is a, a real blessing. I remember when we came to your home to meet her mother, to apologize. It was the first time I saw you face to face we met. Mm. And this is the second time. So actually, when I met her, I will not go far. Uh, I'm called Jacob Owen. Mm. Mm. This is my wife, Slavia. I met her in an interview. It was a collision in an interview. It was on 4th of March. Job interview. Job interview. Mm -hmm. So when I saw the beautiful young woman, yes. I saw a virgin woman. Mm. Yeah, I didn't say anything is she, else. She's a girl from, is are you from Fort Porto? Yeah, from, she's from, from Shema. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, wow. So after one the month. The beautiful girl from Shema. Yes, after one month, I went. I said, OK, I will not sleep on this bed because I don't have peace. Mm. When you see a flower, in a neighbor's home. You don't just have to go and watch the flower and go back. You have to pick a branch and you put in your own compound so that you can look at it every day. Mm. So that is exactly what happened. You pursued her. I pursued her. Despite uh, she told me all the stories, me, I was, I was looking at it as I'm like, okay, I, I don't think whether I, I, I am the best, but what do I want? 
because uh, the, at the end of the day, there is somewhere you're supposed to reach. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the past is past. Those are stories. Okay, we all go through that. But what do we want in the future? Mm -hmm. You see that. So at the end of the day, uh, you, you, you need someone who will, who will go with you, who will keep you. You, you see. So uh, I'm really grateful. I'm so proud of her. Thank you. I'm, pr I'm proud of her too. I and am. Uh, the reason I'm proud of her is because there are so many uh, young ladies, mm. you know, uh, her age, who will actually push for something that is empty, mm. you know, and, and, and even if you did win the man, the, 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 the joy of having stolen, you know, the, the, the pride of, of, of having worked the way we met our men and, and, mm. and came together and, and worked and had our children, that joy is not there. You're always looked at as an impositor. Mm. You're always looked at as an opportunist. Even you always looked at as, up, at, as a novice. As a thief. Yes. Mm. And, um, and, and you, you, no matter what you try to say, it, it will never sound right. Mm -mm. And, and, and the ordinances of God, Luke chapter 16 verse 18 says, he who divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery. So mm. you you don't you don't want to live in permanent, you know, adultery. Mm. Okay. So uh, and, and these were your parents. It was a, your father. It was your mm. mother. Mm. Really, that 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 was happening. So it's spiritually, these were spiritual, you know. And um, I feel that for you to come out of this, to walk out of this, and say I would rather start, is very noble. Yes. I would rather start the way my mother and father started. Mm. I would rather work slowly yes. and get to the level they are. I don't want to be an opportunist. Yes. I don't want to walk in and grab somebody else's yes. labor. Yes. I don't want to reap where I have not sown because God will not allow that. Mm. The soil can, can, can reject you. True. You know, and, mm. and, you, 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 and, and you might even fail to harvest True. and cause that man to stop harvesting. Mm. When you walked out of this home, mm. and uh, even when you were there, was it only you that this man was cheating, you know, cheating on with his wife? Was it just you? Um, after I'd gotten out, actually, because I was out of the world, mm. I came to know that there were several women. Wow. Wow. girls that were being used in the same way i i like lost he had actually abused so many girls yes. and women in his care yes actually started thinking as also part of the, the girls that were used obviously yes <laughs> there were there were many yes i have gotten to know a number of them and you were not the only one who had I was not the only one children. yes yeah i think anybody who can cheat, you know, who can do that, you mm. can use, you will use other people. True. Yes. Mm. And so uh, I'm sure right now you are a voice to those women. Oh we, my this God. is not a tell and shame show, so we have not mentioned any names. Mm. The people who should know will know. Mm. Those who don't know will not know. Mm. But you are a voice to those women. You are a voice to those girls that are being taken advantage of by mm. this man. Mm. You are a voice. You are the one who can tell them that this man mm. will not marry them, he will mm. not take them to his home, mm. he will, you know, he will, th there is no plan B, because True. there are so many. True. You are the one who can say this. Yes. And in a few words, before we close this program, before I say something, mm. do say something to this woman. Um, Tell them how good it is to have a man of your own. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm honored. I would love to tell girls out there, please, do not look at yourself as the worst thing. No matter how far you've fallen, no matter how many children you've had, no matter how many married men you've, you've really got to your life, Christ can make you start up again. You start up your journey you with are a victory, new a new creature, a forgiven one, mm. and with her esteem. I always admired mommy having a man of my own. You know, show, show them your wedding ring. Cause you I always to admired to have a ring on my finger. Girls usually go and buy these ones on streets and put on to, to show they're married. You're lying to yourself. First, the reality, no matter how you've fallen, Christ is there to save you. The blood can wash away the sin and make you a brand new person. So don't, be, don't hide in that lie, in that life of denying yourself the opportunities that God can even give you. God gave me the opportunity to get married again. God gave me the opportunity and he gave me mommy, my husband had never had children.
Wow. Actually, we're expecting our firstborn. Oh, that's wonderful. That's a beautiful story. What a wonderful <laughs> ending. Yes. So please, come out of the shame, come out of the lies, come out of the darkness. The light is there. Praise God. Yes. Wow, that's wonderful. I'm so proud of you, um, Sylvia. Now, if you are watching, you've had 10 children, you've had 10, 20 children. Mm. There is still a Japadola man for you. Ah, <laughs> indeed. There is still a young man who has had no children. You are, a, you, know, you are a new creature. And, and if you walk in the ordinances of God, mm. he will give you exactly mm. what you ask for. Yes. You know, and it, it is unrighteousness that causes us not to prosper. Yes. You, um, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 2, and I've mentioned this before in, a, in, a, in another show. Mm. Um, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 2 shows us that you will be gotten wealth does not profit us, mm. okay? Mm. So uh, you, you are at a point where you walked away from everything, but you are happy now. Yes. And you're starting anew. Yes. What a beautiful story. What a wonderful story. Yes. Your children are with their father. Yes. The, 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 the ex the who ex. wasn't your husband, who was somebody else's husband. Mm. Would you like to send your beautiful children a message right now? I would, thank you. Um, I have a beautiful daughter. Please, I know you're still young, and my other children. What's your daughter's name? She's called Pearl, but I wow. usually call her my, my Jessica. Wow. So I, I want to tell her, when you grow up, God has a man for you. You don't have to go stealing anyone's man. You can still the, be the best in this world. You can produce the best to your children, even to your generation, and you can be the best example in the society. Mommy, I'm glad that I can still stand on a TV show and tell the girls or my daughter that yes, I made mistakes in the past, but God has washed me clean. I am a new creature now. I am a wife, a and first you are, lady. You are first lady and the best mother to your children right now because you're happy. Yes, I'm happy. I feel fulfilled. And I'll make it to heaven as well and be the best thing in this world. Wow. Yes. That is wonderful. And know mommy loves you so much and we will soon meet. Wow. So yes. you send this you know, message to your children. Yes. Mommy loves you. Uh, say something to them. <clears throat> and my babies, I call you my angels. Mommy loves you so much. She misses you. Every night she prays for you. She thinks about you. She keeps keeping so many stories to tell you. And I pray that wherever you are, you will be comforted and still know that your mother still lives and you'll soon meet her. Mm. If you are watching and you have Sylvia's children, we are praying that you will avail her a chance to see her children. She's not wanting to snatch them away. Mm. She's just trying to reach an agreement. She would like to see you know, her babies. She did the, you did the right thing. And I know you will not regret. And I know that God will enable you to meet your children. Amen. And you, you've heard that they're okay and they're safe. And that's the most important thing. Mm. Wow. Praise God. Thank you so much for tuning in. Rewatch this on YouTube. God bless you. And until next time, stay blessed. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this program. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Pastor Jessica's YouTube channel. Oh, and don't forget to press the notification button so that you're notified whenever we upload a video. Also, you can follow Pastor Jessica on all of her social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under the handle of Pastor Jessica Kayanja. If you would like to contact Pastor Jessica Kayanja, please do so on 077 two six three one six zero three and if you'd like to advertise with us please don't hesitate to let us know i'm so sorry that's all we could do for today i do wish we had more time but remember it's a weekly program so please do stay tuned for the next upload i love you i'll be praying for you and bye